Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. In today's video guys, we will show you how to remove or how to replace cylinder, a door lock cylinder on Fiat 500 guys. The one on the left door guys that you unlock and lock with your keys. Stay with us and we'll show you. Uh, you have to do quite a bit of this disassembly. We'll have to remove the whole exterior door handle assembly. Stay with us, we'll do that. Quick introduction guys, every single car we get at the shop, including this Fiat 500, we make at least uh, two to 300 videos guys. We'll show you how to fix pretty much anything. Why? Simply because our mission in the shop is to save you guys as much money as we can all we need in return guys please subscribe to the channel and like the video guys hopefully you will find the information helpful now if you guys need to buy any replacement parts or any of the tools that we use in our videos we'll have the links in the description of the video below for your convenience so please guys check it out now we have guys okay uh, this 2015 fiat 500 this is the uh, door lock cylinder right here that we'll be demonstrating on and we'll show you how to uh, remove and replace that assembly so stay with us and we'll start on that one now so let's show you guys what we'll be doing now okay uh, this is the cylinder door lock okay right here and if you need to remove that thing guys okay we'll attempt to do that without removing the door panel we'll see if it's gonna work if not guys we'll show you what we need to do so this right here guys okay this is Torx uh, 20 either 20 or 25 25 start looking bit again all the tools and parts that we use in our videos you can find the link in the description of the video below for your convenience right here there is one bolt that you need to start getting loose okay keep turning that thing guys okay keep turning that bolt getting it loose and okay at one point okay i'll pull that handle out okay and we'll see okay let's see if it's going to come out more nope in our case guys what we have to do okay that thing is going to come i think with the door handle okay everything must come apart with the door handle and later we'll show you guys what needs to be done okay for the cylinder uh, door lock otherwise i don't think just the cylinder door lock will come so make sure you stay with us until the end so let us show you guys what we'll be doing next okay now the door panel in order uh, to remove the door panel guys we need to remove a few covers a few a few bolts a few screws as well so uh, that's what we'll be starting on now so the first cover that we need to remove is right here you can see where the door handle is just pry that one guys and uh, you're going to find here now okay you have two screws with a uh, with a uh, allen wrench right here okay those are the two screws that we need to remove and this is guys okay we need a small a small allen wrench so let's see i think it's a five five millimeters so we'll go ahead and remove it guys all the tools and parts that we use in our videos you can find the links in the description of the video below shared for your convenience so please feel free to check it out guys okay you can see first screw is coming out now we're going to work on the second one okay almost there okay perfect now guys we need to come towards the side okay on the back side of the door we have two more caps that we need to remove smaller caps careful not to uh, scratch your door gently pull those out with a small screwdriver one here one towards the bottom okay and here we have two screws with a fill up head screwdriver fill up head screwdriver guys okay that we need to go ahead and remove okay one is out working on the second one now here okay you can see how easy that fiat is guys some vehicles uh, it's extremely complicated procedure to actually remove front door panel on this one not complicated at all it doesn't take much so <coughs> just that screw okay it's getting loose but it is a little bit stuck now guys so okay it came out you need to shake it a little bit so next guys okay right here we have one cover that we need to pop loose okay careful not to break anything perfect you can see and on the inside guys okay we have uh, uh, one okay one screw that we need to remove with an allen wrench okay guys it's inside ours was a little bit loose so okay right there we need to go ahead and remove that screw uh, ours is broken there okay that's why it's moving so be careful whoever removed that thing last time okay they didn't do it the right way so as a result guys okay as a result you can see 
uh, ours is broken and uh, we wanted to show you that so yours guys okay is not going to break just like ours did so this one is loose it will come come loose when we continue removing the panel so we'll continue with the next step now guys gotta make sure that we don't have anything else what we're going to do we have a few clips we'll get a pa plastic panel removal too very important so you don't uh, scratch your door we always start on the front so if you scratch something it's not going to be so visible try to pry the with the two the door open guys okay let's find one place and just stay there and get your fingers underneath and just start pulling the clips if the clips break guys we will have uh, the link in the description of the video below and we will explain guys okay where you can find that so uh, you can actually replace yours now a few things that we need to do okay right here let me explain this is the interior door handle cable we need to release this one right here there is one clip press down and when you press down guys it's supposed to come out but uh, with one hand okay I got it out perfect okay now we need to pull that thing to the side and disconnect it we have one wire here this is for the switch okay the thing for pressing it in is right here and disconnected you can see the door panel came out let us show you where all the clips are now located guys so you know what to expect now we have right here on the back side one two three clips one is missing four five six seven eight nine clips guys nine clips and you can see uh, a couple are missing so if you need to buy replacement ones we'll have uh, the link in the description of the video below so next guys we're going to remove that uh, foam piece unfortunately you cannot remove the whole thing because uh, you have to remove the speaker and if you want to remove the speaker you have to drill it because it has uh, actually okay it has uh, rivets not screws now this thing you have to be careful how you remove it somebody guys that removed it broke it completely so uh, you will get a lot of wind noise insulation will not be great on the car as well so you have to be guys careful how you remove it uh, because if you pull it correctly you can readjust it later and you can re-stick it okay this one sticks but uh, whoever worked on it last time it just fell apart guys you can see just like that so you can see if you need to remove it you can just cut it guys okay cut the glue careful not to scratch your door and later that glue guys when you press it in it actually reattaches again so if not you can use silicone to uh, reattach it and uh, that way you will not get wind noise and uh, you will not get guys cold or hot air blowing through the door that's uh, why that thing is there because otherwise you will get quite a bit of road noise and wind noise so we're going to move it to the side okay like that and we'll continue with the next step so now guys we're on the inside okay we're on the inside right here and you can see this is a 10 millimeter nut for the door handle uh, cylinder door lock on the other side right there we'll need to disconnect a few okay a few components there so uh, before we actually okay let's let's not remove this thing all the way okay we will actually need to remove okay this one is the uh, one of the one of the okay linkages that opens the door and the other one is guys okay for actually i need to get this one as well uh the other one is for <coughs> unlocking the door so we need to release both of them i just removed one of them the second one i still can't so we'll need to twist it a little bit and see how i'm going to remove it okay this is you can see a 10 millimeter nut here so let me see what we can do about that linkage there on the other side so guys i'm coming on the down here okay and here that red thing okay we'll need to spread out okay it's very limited room trying to do it with one hand so that red thing okay right there guys i slide it okay i pried it out okay and that linkage came out too now we're going to grab the handle, pull it to the front, okay, and we need to try getting that thing out now. Okay, let's see what else is holding there. Okay, almost, almost out. Okay, we need to come in an angle. Okay. 
Okay, it comes in an angle on the bottom side and then it comes up. So now guys, okay, what I did, I pressed that thing down. One person was pulling on the outside. Okay. And we're stuck again. Okay, oh, hold on a second now. We, we were supposed to disconnect that linkage from the top, guys. Okay, and we couldn't. Okay, you can see how it's stuck. This is because of the linkage. Okay, and we'll try to pull it out. Okay, perfect. So let us show you now what it looks like. It's turbo, guys. Okay, so that thing we were supposed to pull up. Okay, this thing right here, you're supposed to slide it and open it, guys. How does it stuck? Okay, and it comes out. Uh, that's something I couldn't show you because it was very limited room and I couldn't couldn't do it. So that's how you guys release it. You can see just like that. This is for locking and unlocking the vehicle. Okay, that that thing right there. So now guys, we removed the exterior door handle assembly. This is the cylinder door lock and you can see on the inside guys now, okay, you have three screws with a very little Torx, uh, Torx bit guys. I think it's probably Torx 5, Torx 7. Uh, one here, one on the other side and one over there that you need to turn with the key in order to get to it. Then this thing will come out and you can get to the cylinder, the door lock cylinder right here guys, but you can see uh, in some cases you just replace it with the whole exterior door handle assembly I've seen people do that and just use a different key for the door uh, but that's how you guys do it hopefully the video will be helpful if you have any questions need any part check out the link in the description of the video below thank you for watching please subscribe to the channel for more help and see you guys next time